Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers. A Kansas veteran remembers arriving in Korea and asking the supply guy about all the thunder and lightning. Gwen Bevel and photojournalist Nicholas Kiefer show us the young soldier quickly learned that was the front lines. Don Peel says getting to Korea was a 13 day journey and since his mother and wife wrote him each and every day, once he got there, he had a lot of mail to catch up on. <laughs> Don Peel's coat fits a little tighter than it did nearly 70 years ago. He's the best looking guy out there. And he remembers basic training well. I guess I wanted to show somebody that I had had a hold of a rifle at one time. He was a pretty good shot and clearly practiced patience. See, this is the channel line you got in. Peel got a good laugh from allowing his buddy to cut his hair just before he collected his $30 in monthly pay from the commander. It looks like the barber got a hold of your buck, he said. <laughs> and he brought holiday cheer. I think I was the only one in Korea that had a Christmas tree. He held on to quite a few things from his service. Get a hold of that and you can throw it up over your shoulder. And... He's still farming and says his younger days doing so in Fallon helped prepare him for military life. That's a warning to to get go to our trenches. He said we could we're uh, under, under attack. He says they never got bombed, but they did dive deep into their trenches about once a week. Had aircraft gun was probably 50 feet from us and it started shooting. You can see all them tracer bullets. Peel's talents had him spending a lot of time here. This is our big carpenter shop. They constructed this hangar and then they went on to patching potholes on the runway. One guy would have to, we'd have to stand guard and see if a plane get on the strip and then we'd have to get off to the sides. They also built outhouses and they got most projects done with just a handsaw. Here's one of the desks we made our lieutenant. He says they used old wooden bomb boxes on most of their creations. That was until the company commander wanted a desk. I made it so I had drawers on both sides and then a big drawer in the middle. And he was the king of the camp, I guess, because he, he's the only one that had a desk like it. These children often hung around the camp and the soldiers would make places in their tents for the boys to sleep. We always saw to it that we got something to bring back from the mess hall so they'd have to have to eat. Peel says it was sure tough leaving them behind in Korea and he's proud of this letter and medal he received from the country 50 years after he put in his time. 21 months, five days, an hour and 30 minutes. He says there were many good times with his comrades like water fights and popping popcorn his wife would send him. I had to make the make the screen popcorn popper over there. No surprise there from this carpenter who was rarely caught sleeping on the job because he was always working to make others laugh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> on an honor flight to D.C., Peel picked up a Korean War commemorative coin. The carpenter then built a case to display it. He says he has no plans to slow down on any of his work anytime soon. He still puts in quite a few hours in his son's shop and he also helps out there on the farm. Here for you, Gwen Bevel, KSN News 3. The Devon James Injury Lawyers here, and we're excited to introduce to you our Veteran of the Week, and that's Corporal Don Peel, who served our country during Korea on behalf of all of Kansas. Thank you for your service. And I would like to donate this $500 to the Honor Flight, the Kansas Honor Flight. Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers.